Uh, okay, as you saw in this preview, uh, we're going to animate uh, our splash screen. So uh, I have already designed the splash screen in Adobe XD. And uh, now we are going to animate this design in uh, Protopy. As you already know, uh, Protopy is compatible with uh, uh, Adobe XD. And now we are going to create a new project. And let me just resize this screen a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to uh, uh, set this uh, device to iPhone X because uh, our uh, uh, Adobe XD file is uh, in Adobe uh, in uh, iPhone X format. So we're going to import our uh, layout or artboard. Uh, we're going to set import size to uh, 3x because iPhone X is a uh, 3x size. And just click import. Okay, after that uh, we're going to see the exact same screen uh, like uh, we uh, designed on uh, Adobe XD. So first we're going to uh, uh, rename those few elements. Uh, this little rectangle will be rectangle 1. And those three... Uh, Objects uh, will rename. Uh, we will rename to group one. Let's say. Okay. Uh, now those three little uh, rectangles. We'll say one, two, and three. So uh, I'm renaming this uh, uh, these objects uh, or elements because it will be easier to animate uh, if we know the exact name of our elements so um, we, will we will now start with uh, animating but uh, first we're going to change the origin of uh, each of those uh, three little uh, rectangles and uh, next we are going to first animate uh, E uh, ladder so uh, we're going to add trigger And we're going to uh, copy and paste the, the uh, exact position of our uh, E uh, ladder, X and Y position. So uh, when we copy those two positions, we're going to add trigger start. And we'll set uh, uh, move. So we're going to move our E uh, letter to uh, the position we... Uh, on the center and that's the exact same uh, position we already had okay um, now we're going to add new trigger uh, which is opacity and we're going to uh, set opacity uh, at first we're going to change to 0 0.6 duration and delay will be 0 because opacity and the uh, move trigger will uh, start at the same time uh, now we're going to change the easing to uh, spring. Uh, we'll set tension to um, 250 and uh, fraction to 8. Okay, now it looks better. And then we're going to select our E and uh, E letter and change opacity to 0. And in our opacity trigger we're going to set opacity to 100. It's to look li like something like that. Okay. Next, uh, we're going to animate this little uh, rectangle, which is uh, called the rectangle 1. And uh, we're going to add a scale trigger. Um, but before that, we're going to uh, copy a width and height uh, of this element, so we can increase uh, the scale of this element. Now we're going to change the, uh, its uh, width to the exact same number. Okay, copy uh, width and height. And then uh, when we select our uh, rectangle, uh, afterwards we're going to uh, set zero uh, width and height. And durations should be 0 0.7 and delay 1.3. Uh, easing will be ease out and uh, bounce. And now let's change the, when we select our rectangle, change the height and width to zero. So when we click play, uh, it will 
be uh, nice and smoothly. Okay, we'll change the height to uh, zero on our scale trigger. We forgot that, and we're going to uh, uh, re-add the uh, height uh, on our element when we select that. So uh, after that, uh, we're going to. Okay, now it looks better, as you can see. And next we're going to add new trigger, which is uh, Opacity. Uh, we're going to select uh, Group 1 and uh, change Opacity to 100. Easing, uh, you can change Easing and Duration will be uh, 0 0.6. Delay will be uh, 2 seconds. And of course let's uh, change Easing to Sign. And uh, when we select this element we're going to hide it at first. And the trigger will be uh, set to 100 opacity. Uh, next, we're going to use a scale to scale our uh, first little rectangle. Uh, so we need to copy this uh, width and height of our uh, of our little rectangle. Uh, but we'll first set a delay to two seconds, is in and quart. A duration 0.2 seconds will be. And uh, next, we're going to uh, copy this uh, size of this rectangle with a height, and we're going to copy it on our scale trigger. The exact same numbers. Uh, okay, and when we select this item, we'll say zero, so it uh, will not be shown at first. So we can see the actual animation. Next, we're going to uh, animate our second. Uh, little rectangle. Again, we are going to copy uh, its width and height uh, on our scale trigger and uh, we are going to uh, set its width and height to zero at first. So, uh, when we click play we can see the animation. Ok, next we are going to add the third scale trigger on our third uh, little rectangle. Uh, and yes, we must set the delay. Uh, delay between the those three uh, little rectangles should be 0 0.1 and uh, let's select this third uh, 2.2 delay uh, duration 0 0.2 will be for all three of them and uh, is in and quart for easing okay and we just need to select this uh, little rectangle number three and uh, change its uh, width and height to zero and copy uh, those uh, original to our uh, trigger scale. Okay, now that uh, we have all that, uh, we just need to uh, animate this uh, shopper's text. We need to copy its position X and Y and uh, we're going to add move trigger and paste uh, its uh, position, current position. And now we are going to uh, click enter and uh, we are going to set easing to spring, uh, tension will be 300, fraction 15 and delay will be uh, 2.4. So now we are going to move these uh, shoppers on the left and when we click play, there you go. So uh, we have successfully created the beautiful animation, splash screen animation in Protopie. It's uh, it's not very hard, it's easy to create that, you just need to practice a little bit. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this uh, tutorial and um, thank you for watching and see you next video.